All right, what's up, everybody? This is your boy A Dub and um, A Dub Productions. What I'm doing right now is uh, I was replacing a part on my bike because I seem to be having this problem with uh, overheating. So what was happening is when my bike was getting real hot, when my it would start up when it's in the garage, and then when it got hot, it would not start. Like if I drove some road somewhere, it would it would, it would not start because the motor was hot. So uh, a friend of mine was having the same problem, and we determined that it was uh, a master solenoid switch. Now what a master solenoid switch is, is it's a little box. This is the master solenoid switch. Let me focus in. Sorry. It's a little box that your negative and your positive wires uh, connect to. Alright, give me a second here. Sorry, I got on. So, it has a 30, what the hell, anyway, that's the master solenoid switch. Um, your negative and positive wires hook up to the master solenoid switch, which uh, obviously in here, the old ones, there's a positive and there's a negative over there. And the master solenoid switch lives underneath your gas tank in a 2008 Kawasaki ZX-10. Now I just got my this this is this is the old master solenoid switch that I'm taking out right here, and this is the uh, new one. Now in order to get my gas tank off, for those of y'all that wanted to know, I had to obviously take off the side fairings, which involves the screw right here that hooks onto this spot right. This port right here hooks onto this point right here. No 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 no. Bracket right. What the freak? Anyway, that hooks on to the frame of the bike. And, um, where the hell is the hole? But when you line it up, you can find it. But anyway, and then you take off, after you take off that screw, which takes off the side fairing that goes right here, just a little small side fairing that goes right there, you, um, unhook your stabilizer. And then, there's a long screw. There's a long screw that a pin that um, attaches right there that you got to take off. And then you can uh, pick your gas tank up. You can take your hose out. That's your breathing hose right there that drop hangs at the bottom of your bike. And right now I just have my gas tank um, to the side to give me a little bit of room to work with because I didn't want to disconnect my fuel line, which is connected to the gas tank. Didn't want to disconnect that, so I just got enough room so I can get in there, take the master solenoid switch out, and replace it with the new one. All right. So how this master solenoid switch goes in, I can't. Uh, you probably can't see that. Let me see if I can. Exposure. All right. How this master solenoid switch um, goes in is this. There's a new one. There's two little rubber things on the side, and what happens is. It uh it goes in this way. These two little prongs right here. There's actually two metal things that you'll see that lives on on the body of the frame that you just sit the you, you you wedge in in both of these, and that's what keeps it in place. So the old one, you just you just I got a screwdriver and I stuck it underneath and I just like pried it up until it, it until it came up and then I took it off. Then I unhook my negative and positive wire to the old switch because I'm going to reuse those and use the same ones because uh, it's going to save time because so I don't have to run the new wires all the way back up there. That would be a pain in my ass. So I'll just It's not the uh, wires that's, that's bad. It's the uh, master solenoid switch. So I'm going to replace these and then I will show you guys my bike. I also got a uh, ballistics battery. It's a little small battery this big it can live in here <laughs> I'm gonna actually velcro it in there and I, I'm gonna hook uh, I'm gonna what am I gonna hook up to that all my lights I'm gonna run all my lights to this ballistics battery obviously it's not it doesn't have any general um, thing hooked up to it uh, so it's gonna need charging um, every time I ride um, and every time I turn my lights on it's gonna be, need to be 
go back on the battery tender. Yeah, because it's not it's not going to be hooked up to any alternator as as the uh, battery um, of the the main battery of the bike is. So um, yeah, I'm going to put this thing back together. Yeah, I got a little charger that's going to hook up to the main battery along with my battery tender that I got hooked up to my main battery and all this mess right here I'm gonna try to run these wires neater these are all my lights and all uh, different connections that I have uh, hooked up to my bike okay 08 Kawasaki ZX10 I'm getting uh, fixed so I won't have the cutoff problem when the bike overheats all right this ballistics battery is pretty good too uh, you guys should check that out if you want a little small battery to run your lights to just in case you might find um, that your battery is dying even though those little lights aren't supposed to take any juice I'm kind of skeptical about that so yeah I'm gonna put in the um, thing and see if it works alright talk to you guys later okay just got finished putting her back together she's all together now back in one piece starter solenoid changed there's the old one right there. There's the wires. Oh shit. Bugs in here. Scary. Um, because there's a big yard back there anyway. Cemetery. So I'm gonna try to start it off. Start it up for the first time. We got power. It's a good sign. And that is how you change, even though you didn't see the whole thing, I didn't have a camera person, but that is how you uh, change the uh, master solenoid switch. Because it was cutting off when the bike got hot, and you, it would cut off sometimes, and then it would, uh, when you went to start it back up, you'd have to like kickstart it. But, we're going to go run around. Get it nice and warmed up and see if we see if we fix the problem. Alright guys, uh, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. This is honestly something that you can do yourself if uh, if your master solenoid switch is broken. You can honestly, I swear to God, you can do this yourself. Just take your time. Um, I ordered my master's new master solenoid on eBay. Uh, it was maybe about 30 bucks, 40 maybe. I don't know. But quick fix. Alright, have a good one. Thanks for watching. Yeah. A -W -A -W -A -W -A -W. Yeah. Yeah. This is how we like to do it.